everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kat and this is Wild Flora Handmade. If you are not new here, you may know me as a jewelry making channel, but since having a baby and then now I'm pregnant with my second baby, making jewelry has been like the hardest thing for me to do. So it's really taken a back seat in my life and being a mom obviously has come first, um, but I'm still a creative person and I still wanna work with my hands. So I've actually taken up crocheting. I learned to crochet maybe when I was like 12 or 13. My grandma showed me, but I never really like finished any projects up until this year when I got serious about it. And um, my goal with this channel is to somehow weave in jewelry making, crocheting and being a mom like all into one. Um, so we'll see how that all goes about. But if you're interested in like crocheting, creative, craft fair, being a mom type content, definitely subscribe because I'll be posting a lot about that. <laughs> and in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about the things that I made in my second trimester, uh, which technically I've made these things like in the last two months. So that would be like July, August. So the first item I did is this beanie for my son. He's about 18 months old. And this was with a yarn from Michaels. Um, I think the brand is called Patton. And this is 100% wool. And it's perfect because out here in North Carolina, it gets super cold. So this will definitely keep him super warm. I did like a double ribbing. So it's a lot like thicker, like close to his ears. Um, and this one, I actually didn't use a pattern. This was my first ever like make that I've ever done. So it definitely took a lot of like trial and error. And I kept like, unraveling the yarn until I could figure it out and the sizing it was really hard for me but I did this from the bottom up um, but I really like the way it came out and it's so soft it's so nice I, I love it and I'm definitely going to be using this yarn again I'm actually making him a second one um, in white but yeah that's that's it when oh, I got this pom-pom at like Joann's but I love it and it fits him perfectly and I love that I like was able to measure his head right then and there so I could get the right sizing. Um, so that's that one. And then the second one that I made is this newborn beanie for my baby. She's due in November, so obviously it's gonna be winter, so she needs winter items. Um, and this yarn is Bernat Baby Velvet. And I think I got the pattern from Daisy Farm Crafts and it's it was more of like a long rectangle that you sew together afterwards. So it was super easy and it was it's like super soft. It's so nice. It's honestly hard to believe that she's gonna have this tiny of a head. Like that's crazy. And I love that you can also like fold it up. Like this. Like how cute is that? It's so cute. Just reminds me of like a little bunny. So cute. The second item that I made is with that same uh, velvet yarn, which is so soft. It's probably like the softest yarn that I have. It's so nice. I love it. Um, and I made her like a little headband. And I think this one I made it more, I think it is maybe like in a six month size or 12 month. I can't remember. So if she can't wear it this year, she'll be able to wear it next winter. And I just thought this was so cute. Um, and I think this was also from the Daisy Craft Farm. Yeah, I think it's their pattern. I'll make sure to link all the patterns below too if, if I used a pattern. My only problem with this is like whenever I was doing the twist on the headband, I couldn't get it right. So it just doesn't look as cute as the one on like the, the pattern looks like. And then I made a third, well, second one for her. And this one is in 100% wool. I think it was patterns also. And this one I obviously could not figure out that twist. So I just ended up wrapping string around it. But it's so cute and I know it's gonna be so warm and perfect for her. This one is definitely in like a three month size. Um, so she'll be able to wear it maybe like January, February. Super cute. And then the next item that I made is actually a free pattern that I found on Pinterest. It was this really cute fluffy bunny. It's in my son's room so I can't show you right now but I'll make sure to post a photo right here so you can see it and it was definitely not the most beautiful bunny <laughs> it was my first ever like stuffed animal i've never done anything like that i mean obviously as you can see this is what i've done so far so it was definitely a quirky little bunny <laughs> i will say um 
and that was for my son and I used um, Lion Brand Homespun. I would not recommend that brand, or not that brand, sorry. I would not recommend that specific type of yarn for beginner. It was not fun to work with. Um, it's really hard to see like your stitches. And then just like, it's not that soft. And I felt like maybe I used like the wrong, wrong size hook. Like I think it was supposed to be like a 6.5, but I millimeter hook, but I think I should have gone down to like a five because it was full of like holes and you can kind of see some of the stuffing. Um, so that's, that's that one. <laughs> And then I wanted to try again and see if I can make another stuffed animal. And so I made this cute little duck, which I'm so obsessed with. Um, and this is from the Cozy Stitch. Her pattern is called Derby the Duck. And this is the Snuggler, so it's not stuffed. And it is so, so stinking cute. It is from Burnett Blanket. I think it's a number six. And it's just the cutest thing ever. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, I want to make a million of these. <laughs> and this one was actually pretty quick to make, and it, I felt like it was pretty beginner-friendly. Definitely. I mean, this took me a couple days here and there, like, during my son's naps. Um, but I would highly recommend her patterns. They're just so, so cute and so easy. Like, I just want them for myself, but he's not for me. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing that I made, this one is kind of like a lovey, like a little stuffed like lovey. Um, I had seen a pattern on Pinterest. So I'm gonna say that I took inspiration from them because I did. Um, I recreated it myself. I didn't use their pattern. Um, I kind of just tried it for myself to see how I could do it on my own. And this is kind of how it came out. The original pattern I think it had like droopy ears, but I did like these ears which are super cute um, it was actually fairly easy to make and it was fun to like test my own skills to see if I could do something without a pattern um, and then I also embroidered her little eyes and her nose I, I love this oh my gosh like this is gonna be my daughter's lovey and I just think it's so adorable um, I used Bernat blanket yarn I think I got this one from Michaels and it's called I think it was like beech wood. It's so cute because it's like this light brown with like hints, almost hints of pink. And it's just so soft. And then I used a little pom-pom maker to make the the little legs and arms. So cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> She's definitely super cute. Um, so those are all of the things that I made in the last two months. I hope you enjoyed this video. In my next video, uh, most likely I'm gonna be doing a either a yarn haul or a what I made in this last like month too because I've actually made about another like 10, 15 items, but those are all in hopes to sell them in a craft fair. Um, my like big goal is to have like a mama and baby boutique where I could sell like mom jewelry for mom and like crocheted baby items for baby um so we will see how it goes because i'm kind of cutting it close with my baby's due date in eight weeks and a market in possibly three weeks so we will see all right guys have a good one bye